We don't per, know much about Rubian Farani. Paris United. Oh, that is very dynamic. Redun uh, Farani. Mirko Valentino. He is one of the most well-known amateur boxers on the circuit. Ranked second in the world. 75% success rate. This boy's got pedigree and class. So much so, he was the 2009 AIBA Best Boxer Award. He won the gold in the World Championships in that year. Beat Gonzalez in the final. He's a one of two world champions in the Italian side. But he didn't perform well in June in Moscow in the European Championship. And that really devastated him. He said he was happy to hang up his gloves. However, he was talking out of that decision by another Italian champion, Camarelli. And he's back here. He's got the drive. The man is also on his crystal tattoo. He's got 14 of them. And apparently he gets them in the same tattoo parlor Adam, as the Napoli players, Lavezzi and Hansi. Wow. Fascinating fact. Another interesting fact here. Uh, Hails from the same town as Clemente Russo. In Campania. Per uh, il Dolce Campania Milano Thunder. Siamo sempre probabilmente pesi leggeri. Domenico Valentino. Farani has come on and looks a new customer. Now Mirko Valentino. He seems to have taken a couple of years out of boxing. He was doing well in 2007, but not much since then. Got a bronze award, bronze medal, sorry, in the European Union Championship. Hasn't really done a lot since then. He's a young man too, he's only 22 years old. As the music finds up, the entrance of Mirko Valentino. Punishment by, by day, also by night. Domenico Valentino is told once. In the 60, 61 to 64 kilogram division, and he lost in the preliminary. So, this is another factor. Will Valentino be able to cut him at this division? It's a fascinating encounter for Balkwater. I think we'll see Valentino, unlike Picardi, go over that. A classic orthodox stance. He'll lead with his jab. Picardi seemed to be perhaps. Rather forced into an untidy bout because of the close of young Nevin. This time it could be the opposite side, it could be the Italian side showing the quality of the French. It could be. Paris United, I think Fernando will be looking to capitalise on his height advantage. Keep him away, get in there with those jabs. Valentino, one of the many fighters at this point. Dynamic to this encounter. Campione mondiale di Milano l'anno scorso. The Valentino is the champion. Provincia di Caserta. Domenico Valentino. Valentino. That he has is to commemorate that world championship victory here in Milan last year. And he says he wants to add one for Olympic gold. Well, this is a great tournament to be in. If that's his goal. Just now, though, I think his main aim will to be to pull his side even on the evening. Yes, well, he'll be focusing on Ferrani and beating him. But yeah, they, he, he's got a key key role here to get Milan back into this, Milan, Milan or Thunder to get them back into this match. Of the disappointment. Don't you go back to Milan or Thunder side. Oh. Round one. Prima Ferrani there with the left hook. Oh. Good body blow there. Ferrani. Covering up well the Frenchman. Not letting Valentino. Oh, side there, but when he does, he hits it quick. 
Antunos, again, like, like Picardi in the first match, he's got to watch those hands, keep them up a bit. He's letting them slip down. You can't do that against the guy who's taller than you. Low blows there, boy. Valentino doesn't have much to aim at up top. Barini covering up well. And so. Steel world champion going downstairs to the body. Both boxers here just weighing each other up. As those who know that they get points for the more aggressive nature of your contest. Here you've got to say the Frenchman holding back. Ages so far in his opening round. I think the distance that is good. Swaying by Valentino. Ferrani will know Valentino is a, a class act. And he'll be looking to approach the match accordingly. He'll be weighing Valentino up in the first round. See what he's got. And he's coming in there with some good punches. Missed up. Hoop up. Wasn't far away. Cardi, some jabs. Go. Straight on stance. Tight to defence. Good defence there. Valentino. Seems to be catching his, his opponent more often. He's got the range now. Stepping in well there with that right. He looks that good foot, good foot move, good speed. Goes in with a jab, moves away. What's Ferrani to come on to it? Ferrani there with some stray blows. <laughs> Valentino didn't get hit. Quickly back pedaling, keeping the distance. Then he'll stand up. Ferrani now needs to come and throw some punches to get some points. Very tentative stuff there. Both boxes, but you'd say Valentino has the edge. And Ani there just catching his breath. Happy to hold on a little bit too long there, the referee. And a step in a fraction earlier. End of the first round up. No fans seem to be happy. Very much a tentative opening. Both boxes weighing each other up. Valentino comes in with some. And any blows. of the punches that landed came from Valentino. And when the Frenchman opened up, he opened up for the taking. At least that's my view of the first try, Adam. I think that's fair. Ferrani didn't really use that high to punch he's got. Valentino still out to come on to him. He was happy to counter punch scores there. Well, he didn't throw that much. He kept his guard up well. Surtout, il y a eu un petit peu de temps. Il y a eu un Good defence here by Valentino. Oh, he's got something he can, he can handle on Valentino. Oh, did he get inside Valentino? Rough up the Frenchman. Good stuff there by the Italian. Ferrani oh, there holding on. Close there. Boxing match here, now he knows even more. Got caught there. Valentino is quick on his feet, making the, the Frenchman follow him around. He's quick there with his punches. Good stuff there by Valentino. Well, heading home. there by Farani, leaning in on one side, keeping the other hand busy. 
He's opening up. Well, he doesn't seem to really be attacking Valentino here. Valentino. Oh, he's going to get a good combination. Body. And then upstairs. Valentino just keeping his hands there, ready to lunge in. No defence there from the Italian. Really on the attack here. Making the Frenchman really, really work in his defence. Seems to know that he's got the speed to get out of the way of the Frenchman's punches. Really come in here, try and step inside that long reach once again. Manish United keeping their defensive line with that long jab. Rani really doesn't seem to have a game plan. Not expecting the speed. Target Valentino. Sits in there, the combination. There's some problems for Ruan Farani. Farani really wants to get in close. Just try and oh, rest out the, the last seconds of this round. Valentino is eager to please this Milan crowd. And so far, I think he has. Coming in from Farani, never hitting the target. Also, sap your energy. Making hay is, is very tiring. Farani was desperate there. Again, very close decisions by the referees, but it's also in favour of the Italian. And Mirko Valentino steps up with the second round of five. Farani, really. As his work cut out, Milan the Thunder could be going all even, 1-1. One, one. Remember, it's three points for the victory. If you win all your bouts, all by four bouts to one. However, if the losing side manages to lose by 3-2, then they'll take a point for the win. If it's a draw, it's two points apiece. Important consideration, but Valentino will just be focused. Uh, Try and win this round. Thank he wins you this. Fight's over. Franny, they'll be looking to counter. Franny comes up with something special, Adam. Stop! Remember? What about the points we're going to have? Knockouts we're going to have. Clear knockouts. Although, I haven't seen much from Franny in the way of power. Really worried. Valentino, but he's going for it now. Good combination there between Ferrari. First, you'd say in this match. And again, there, Valentino, quick in with a good counter. Ferrari with some. Uh, There's a wrestle, Ferrari. The dark side of the arms a little bit better than Valentino. Connect with one of these big right hands. Defense by the Frenchman. Good defense, but Valentino's just running around him. Coming with the odd punch. And he's lets his arms go and he just forward, he's open. Valentino just goes around the side and it's a quick one in. Don't forget that Valentino is number two in the world. And his weight. And he's a world champion. World champion. And he really doesn't seem to have the power that Valentino has. Stuff for both boxers. The final minute of the third round. This is the fight is so far. And he has taken a minute of aggressive stance here. And well, he's been on the attack in this, this round. And the team hasn't really managed to find those blows he did in the first two rounds. But then Ferrari hasn't really made contact in any substantial way. Valentino this time holding on. He's got a wrestling match, Paul. 
the Frenchman. Yeah. Oh, the Valentino. Event. This here is the step up towards the professional circuit. Mixing it. Both, both look well. They don't look as tired as, as you'd say, Nevin and Picardi did at this stage. I think mean, that probably goes down to experience. Valentino will be beside himself because you'd have to say Ferrani was open when he attacked and Valentino, unlike the other rounds, wasn't able to come in there with a quick jab or a counter punch. As you can say, the 26-year-old from Naples, I'm just going to say Naples, is in charge of this competition, of this fight. Fourth round. Stop! to see the boxer's decision there. He's going to be looking to refind his form he had in the first two. Two rounds of this bout. Make for Annie Pay. Two rounds the judges giving advantage to Valentino. 10 9. 10 points. Takes the 10 points and then. Interesting stuff. Valentino seems to go well, after a, you have to say, a good opening two rounds. Third and now it's fourth. So really found that touch. Huge question of stamina for these guys. The endurance to last five rounds of three minutes. Something. Right. we're worried about. Coach Francesco Damiano. She said the first two rounds it was sharp, it was nippy. To put it in the mix, Valentino's put on a few pounds for this. Not used to fighting at this. Ah, then his class and his technique should come through. Away with a good few, good few blows on Ferrani. Ferrani, they will never have to win. Not right now. There's no room in the sport for that kind of. Got a screen his step, he's keeping his uh, yeah, to the style. back of the head coming from Farani. As we said, I was really sport for that. Right! Right! And holding on to Valentino's head. He's sticking his head in there. 20 seconds of round four. This is perhaps a tighter than the time would have expected. He's come back into this very well, we have to say. Valentino was loosely against the first two rounds. It didn't matter because he got in those blows. Now three and four. Same defense, different result. Perspective from Valentino towards his opponent. But oh. he's certainly a tough customer. I oh, knew that a one meter eighty would be awkward. But it's not only awkward. He has, but he hasn't really used that hard to find. It seems to me to, to good effect. 
metti i tuoi gomiti sotto al collo, non dici niente l'arbitro, hai capito? Oh, svegliati! E poi mettili dentro! Questo qui ti serve da mirare! Quando l'hai mirato, mettili qua dentro e doppialo se lo puoi, hai capito? Yeah, the punches have really landed on the spot, came from the Italian. Bravo, Mirko. Bravo. Comincia a diventare professionista. Yeah, there's some more. Both, both boxes in that round were warm. Four minutes and four minutes to the head. So, half ways into the mix. It's a tight, it's a tight match at the moment. And got to be slightly disciplined, I think, coming into this round. No points ducked for either boxer, though. Quinta and ultima impresa. Fascinating. Valentino will be in the in there with some good hits. He's found success with it. So he's going to walk the body because he certainly caught it off well. Not much to aim at for Valentino. This extra spring in his stride. Valentino's in. He's slightly more aggressive in his last round. He knows there's all to play for. Right. The holding game seems to favour the Frenchman. Valentino needs to keep the distance and then step inside. He's faster. Much more nimble boxer. He's faster, nimble, and slightly more powerful than the Frenchman. But he hasn't really been able to control this match in the way. He's looking like he was in the first two, two rounds. Both parties are really guilty of holding on to each other. Well, the two boxers, Farini seems to know what to do. There's going on.
come secondo appuntamento e vi ricordo anche che la squadra è composta da 15 pugili che si atterreranno sul ring 6 italiani e 9 stranieri questo per far sì che ci sia veramente un po' di tutte le nazioni del pugilato non solo quelle che hanno le franchigie ovvero le 12 che hanno le squadre ma tutti i pugili di tutto il mondo possono partecipare a questa meravigliosa avventura del World Series of Boxing intanto che aspettiamo applaudiamo Redon Farani e Domenico Valentino che hanno messo in piedi un match eccellente io vedo il delegato della WSB che sta compilando manualmente dicevamo il modulo che gli hanno ancora un attimo di cortesia al nostro pubblico ci siamo quasi eccoci qua We're still waiting for the Apicus to be totted up. Valentino. Per Giugi e Kelly, Milano Thunder 50, Paris United 46. Per il Giudice Just, Milano Thunder 49, Paris United 46. And the second judge. And it seems like it's going to be all square going into Pound 3. Milano Thunder 50, Paris United 45. Support the team. He's got straight back into this match. Of the disappointment of the first one. Great stop there from Milano Thunder. They'll be looking forward to the third match. Domenico Valentino. Evens things up between Dolce Gabbana and Milano Thunder and Paris United. It's now one apiece. John Nevin saw off Picardi. Un applauso per Giulio Farini. Che lascia il ring. Pugile di Parigi di Parigi. Per l'Oriol Oakford. Having a Valentino found it difficult with his height and his style as well. Very cagey boxed it after say. But he did the job. Come vi raccontavo all'inizio la formula prevede 5 incontri, bisogna vincere 3 su 5 per vincere la riunione, siamo uno pari.